Hi everybody, this is our first um, math review or homework helper video of the year. Um, I'll try to do some of them at the end of uh, topics and also when I think it'll be helpful I'm going to try to make a video to help out with the homework. Not always, um, but I, I'll do my best when there's kind of a tricky one. This first lesson can be pretty confusing, but I think if we get it down now and some of these ideas down, then it'll really help us out a lot later on. So let's dive in. We've been looking at this place value chart over the past couple of days. Um, and what we've been doing is multiplying and dividing by 10, 100, and 1,000. Um, because if we're multiplying by one of those numbers, um, there are some special properties. So what we've been doing is we've been taking numbers like this. Um, a number like 3.6. You know, 3.6 is 3 ones and 6 tenths. So we could also call it 3 and 6 tenths. Uh, there's different ways to name numbers like this. And let's say I want to multiply 3.6 times 10. Um, parents, if you're listening along at home, uh, what we used to do was uh, we learned to move the decimal points. Um, and the reason we don't do that anymore is that it's not actually the decimal point that's moving, um, it's the other numbers are moving. So we think about the decimal point as staying still. But what we're going to do is we're going to shift the digits. So um, what we've learned is that if we multiply 3 times 10, we end up with 30, and 6 tenths times 10 is 6. So we have... So three 3 and 6 tenths is times 10 equals 36. Now what's nice about the place value chart is we can see right here how the digits are shifting. Um, that the ones are all becoming tens and the tenths are all becoming ones. Um, if we did, let's do take 3.6 again. Uh, but let's this time multiply it by 100. I'm just going to write that there. It's not the neatest math work in the world. Now, what we talked about earlier today, um, it was pointed out that 100 is 10 times 10. So we're doing the same operation twice here. We're shifting the digits two times on the place value chart. So the 3 doesn't, isn't that, it doesn't go from 1s to 10s. It goes to hundreds. And the tenths don't go to ones this time, they go to tens. Now we have this blank spot here. And what we discussed at some length is that there's sort of, at the end of any number, seri a series of secret zeros. And they could go on for as long as we want them to, as long as it's useful. And you can always call upon those zeros to travel into a whole number like this. So we're going to add a zero. Um, so 3.6 times 100 is 360. Uh, it's also worth noting that, and this will be helpful when we get to division, that there are secret zeros ahead. Um, if we were doing 1,000, we would do the same thing, but 1,000 is 100 times 10, or 10 times 10 times 10, so we would shift it three places on the, on the place value chart. That's what this table is called, is the place value chart. Um, let's take a look at division quick, and then we'll do some examples. Let's take 62. This time, instead of um, multiplying, we're going to divide. So the problem we're going to work on first is 62 divided by 10. Now, when you're dividing by 10, the same property is going to be here. When we're multiplying and dividing by 10, we can shift numbers along the place value chart. So, but this time we're shifting down. The tens become ones. So, six tens, or 60, becomes six ones. Two ones becomes two tenths. That makes sense if you think about what tenths are. If you take a one and you divide it by 10 into 10 parts, each part is going to be a tenth. Um, and 
So if you have two of them, you would have two tenths. Um, if you divide two ones by ten, that is. Uh, let, let's talk about uh, let's for the next one. Take sixty-two and divide it by one thousand. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is I want to talk about these secret zeros a little more. And maybe this will help explain this whole concept. Um, so the problem I'm doing is 62 divided by 1,000. I'm not meaning to put those in the place value chart. There's just nowhere really else to write it. Um, so if I'm dividing by 1,000, I'm shifting over three decimal places. So 2 becomes 2 thousandths. 60 becomes 6 hundredths. What goes here? I can't leave the tenths place blank. Uh, what that number would look like is 2 point blank 6, 2. Um, that doesn't make sense. I need to put a numeral, a number, in there to hold the place value. Now, 62 has six, uh, z two ones, six tens, and zero hundreds in it. Um, it also has zero thousands, and zero ten thousands, and zero hundred thousands, and zero millions, but those are not going to come into play right now. But I'm going to take this zero hundreds, because remember, I'm shifting three places over, one, two, three, um, and I'm going to have zero tenths. And then, when I look at this number, point zero six two, I see that it is zero ten it's gonna be confusing if I don't point at it. So zero tenths six hundredths two thousandths. And we'll talk more about how to say that number in a different lesson. Now you might be asking some of these problems uh in the homework don't have a place value chart. Well you can always draw one. So if you think through a problem and you discover that it is a place value problem, um, you could always draw yourself a place value chart. Um, so I'm going to put in a decimal point, and we'll have ones, tens, hundreds, and you can set this up however is helpful. Then we'd have, I don't know, I'll do TH for thousands, and then all I have room for here is ten thousands. Yeah. TH is a little confusing. I'm going to write this a little, a little bit more of a clear way. I'm going to write thou for thousand. Then over here we have tenths, hundredths, thousands. And I'm writing it as a fraction just... Uh, to be quick and easy, I, th this is an example of like really something you could write down on a problem. Trying to make a whole very complicated place value chart after a little while, I'm not sure it's a great use of time, but it'd be simple, simple, simple to make something like this. Now what I can do is, let's say I'm faced with one of these problems. Let's say I have 3.78 times 100 and I want to put this on here. Well, I could write in the number. I'm going to write it just into the top half here, and you'll see why in a second. Now it's times 100, so that means I'm doing two shifts. So 3, 7, 8. Like that. So what is 3.78 times 100? Well, I have 3 hundreds, 7 tenths. 7 tens and 8 ones, so it's 378. Alright, that doesn't look great, but I tried to erase out the lines. Um, now let's do the, take the same number, 3.78, and let's divide it. Let's divide it by 10, because that's all that's going to fit on the chart. But let's just practice once. Um, in fact, stop and think. If I take 3.78 and I divide it by 10, what will happen? Okay, so now I'm going to try it. Dividing by 10 means that I'm moving one place because it's by 10, and it's going to be going down. So 8 goes here, 7 goes here, 
and 3 goes over here. So what's this number? It equals 0.378. Now, it's not strictly necessary, it's not absolutely necessary, but it's very helpful to your reader if you don't have any ones, but there's numbers after the decimal point, to add a zero in like that. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for tonight's homework. Um, feel free to send me any questions that you have, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can.